Hey everyone, and welcome to Game 113, Introduction to Game Tools. In this week's video lecture, we're going to cover the installation of the two toolkits we'll be using throughout the rest of the course, Unity 3D and UDK. To begin, we'll have to download the executables for each of these software. To do that, let's first navigate to unity3d.com slash unity slash download. Here we can download Unity 4.2. If you're following this lecture, and there's a new version available, don't worry about it because the installation should be the same regardless of what version or features are in it. So go ahead and download this. I've already pre-downloaded both of these so we're going to skip ahead and wait until it's finished. It should take about 15 minutes depending on your internet connection speed. Once that's finished downloading, we're going to navigate to the UDK's page which is unrealengine.com slash UDK slash downloads. At the time of this recording, July 2013 UDK beta is the most up to date. So we're going to go ahead and click that and download that as well. Again, I have this preloaded, so I'll wait while you guys download your copy. Now that we have both toolkits downloaded, we can go ahead and install them. Let's start with Unity 3D. Double click the download here to start the installation wizard. This is a pretty straightforward process, and if you've ever installed on PC before, it should be fairly easy, but I'm going to walk you through it just in case. We're going to hit Next and agree to the agreement here. We want to include all three of these, which are the Example Project, the Unity Development Web Player, and Model Develop. And I'm going to leave it as the default destination, which is under x86 on the C drive. Go ahead and hit Install once you found the directory you'd like to install to. The whole installation should take between 5 and 15 minutes. Okay, now that Unity is finished installing, we're going to leave this checked and go ahead and hit Finish, which should launch the program. At the Choose Project window, we want to head to the Create New Project tab. Here we're going to leave everything unchecked because we're just going to do a test to make sure the software works. These are the standard packages that come with Unity, but we don't need them for now. Go ahead and hit Create and the software should launch. You should have a similar setup to this, and if so, that means Unity has successfully installed and we can move on to UDK. Double click the executable here to launch the wizard. We're going to accept the agreement, and of the two options here for a project select, we want to select the UT sample game, which gives us a starting point for working in UDK. Go ahead and click next, and choose your install location. Again, I'm going to leave it default. There's an option here if you want to sign up for UDK updates by entering your email address. When you're finished with that, go ahead and hit install. Now this installation process will take about 15 minutes depending on the speed of your computer and your hard drive. Okay, this is the last step here. It's asking if we want to install any extras. For this course you won't need either of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit next and then we want to launch UDK and that should be it. Unity 3D and UDK are both installed 